hi all good evening uh, today i thought of sharing the uh, updated phaser 3 version of the bow and arrow game that i have promised earlier and uh, let's see this is a uh, uh, this is a phaser 3 uh, uh, um, version of the game uh, with uh, typescript and uh, we have uh, uh, the folder structure over here and uh, i'm using the parcel bundler uh, parcel bundler builds the project into a single file and uh, you can download this uh, uh, from here like uh, uh, go to files here you see the export to zip so i'll share this uh, particular url with you you can play with it and you can up, uh, improvise the game with multiple levels and uh, uh, adding few more audios and then a few animation effects and lot of other things you can do it yourself so let's see uh, here in this uh, assets folder you will see the arrow bag then the background image i have used uh, four background image here i am using the first one you can move the image and uh, you can use uh, multiple images here okay now the main entry point is this main uh, main.ts file and uh, here uh, we are loading the scene uh, game scene which is hello world game scene so here uh, this is a class based uh, component and uh, this complete scene is a class based component and uh, uh, in the constructor we are uh, defining few of the uh, variables local variables and uh, the assets are preloaded then uh, under create method we will go to create uh, the background image the bow bag and some texts uh, plus uh, it creates the create arrow method we call it from here now the default uh, by default we are creating one more arrow uh, which is uh, which is positioned with uh, the bow bow bow's angle and uh, this arrow's angle will remain the same in update frame so we have uh, uh, whether the arrow is short or not we are checking that condition and then moving uh, calculating the angle of the bow and the arrow let us say we are moving the mouse here so based on the mouse position and uh, the bow's position it calculates the angle at which the bow should be uh, positioned and uh, on click on any or anywhere it will throw the bow so it will fire the bow, bow. Uh, fire bow will fire the arrow so here what happens uh, this uh, here i am not using any physics uh, framework and this calculation is purely math mathematical calculation let me show you that so here uh, we calculated the angle for the bow and arrow and uh, below we will calculate the uh, arrow angle at which the arrow should be moving right so uh, the, this uh, positions are calculated uh, with math formula by using pi value the current position of the arrow plus the next position where it should reach based on that the angle is being calculated and that angle is being applied to the new arrow which is already fired from the bow so uh, th then we have uh, uh, there is nothing here uh, so these are some updates and plus the score hit test on hit test uh, uh, we will update the score so hit test i have written a single a simple hit test uh, with object to object and it can be improved uh, based on the pixel on the png which is visible and there are few methods uh, the reset arrow uh, and uh, create arrow and uh, shooting the arrow so uh, these are few methods simple uh, simple calculations few conditions applied that's all so this way here i have uh, created uh, created the basic game of it and now uh, if you want you can apply some music uh, background music to it and create multiple scenes i have given already few tutorials on how to use multiple scenes and uh, you can create a navigation menu and game completion screen 
and all these things based on a timer you can add a timer on top and uh, give some uh, time uh, maybe one minute or two minutes based on which uh, the user will be uh, playing and uh, once the timer is complete then uh, you can take him to uh, the game over screen with uh, showing his score and uh, uh, accuracy uh, how accurate he was in hitting the uh, uh, bag all these things you can calculate based on your uh, based on the positions of uh, the bag and the arrow and a lot of other things you can do animations you can apply and uh, background effects you can apply lot of other things you can play with so let me know your comments if you want anything uh, additional i'll create tutorials on those things and you can uh, surely use them uh, for your games now exporting this thing into an android game uh, i have created already one more uh, tutorial so go follow those tutorials you can create them thank you